Have you ever pondered about the many styles of music? You would figure that with the many cultures around the world, there would be a voluminous amount. Not only are there countless styles of music, but subgenres of those styles, as well as mixtures of styles to create one ultimate style. This creates an infinite amount of genres or styles of music, and is where progressive metal comes into play. Progressive metal is a fusion of many styles and cultures. It is the ultimate style of music for the musician. Before we get started, I would like to show the growth of progressive metal this year. It's absolutely massive. A website called socialbakers.com monitors all types of media statistics and ultimately input from users of Facebook and creates data from this input. Furthermore, this is a chart monitoring the genre of prog metal, showing its growth over the past six months this year on Facebook. These statistics show how progressive metal became more popular over a short six months of time. This also goes for the industry music. More and more bands are forming and the industry is growing more popular for the style of progressive metal. Surprisingly, this data shows that over one month, fan growth is approximately 1,949 people. Progressive metal, a sub-genre of metal, contains mixtures of many different genres. Its roots originate from the 40s till modern times. Uh, progressive rock, the beginning of the creation of progressive metal, actually started in the 1970s. Bands such as Rush, Blind Guardian, Queensryche, all were the beginning of progressive metal. Some great examples of more mainstream progressive rock would be bands such as Cream, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, the well-known Jimi Hendrix, and of course, The Beatles. Now, the Beatles actually had a progressive album called Sgt. Pepper. This started all the psychedelic hype and experimentation of instruments. I'd like to go over the introduction to jazz and classical music for better understanding. Starting from the classical era, music was written in arrangements, meaning it was written page by page and only known how to play through written composition. Classical focuses more on the technical side using arpeggiations, multiple scales, different time meters, and different keys. It is a complex arrangement of music and emotion. Another unique style of music, specifically jazz, and jazz fusion brings improvisation, a technique used in jazz to randomize parts only in a structured sense. In other words, you take one member of the band, have them solo out for a set of time, then each member has their spotlight of uniqueness and randomization until, of course, the last member finishes his solos. Once the last member is finished, he transitions back into the main melody of the piece, then the group as a whole continues to play their structure. For example, take a listen to this jazz video. The clip shown was a performance of Tony Royster and his band ASAP. As you can see, Tony was the spotlight in the improv solo, then at the end transitions back into the medley with the full band. 
I would like to show you a few interviews and videos on how jazz and classical are incorporated into prog, prog metal. Also how metal can be fused with jazz and classical. This will show how metal is not all about screaming and headbanging, but about its complexities and use of educated influence. So even though a complex and underground style progressive metal is, it should be recognized as an art and classically composed style. First, I'm going to show you an interview I did with Dr. Leinberger where he explains how tuning and scales are involved in modern music. My name is Dr. Charles Leinberger. I teach music theory here at UTEP. I have a PhD in theory with minors in trumpet performance and media arts. Great. One of the classes I teach is on the history of uh, tuning and temperament. Okay. Uh, and basically, over the last thousands, uh, about a thousand years or so, as music got more complex and as ex uh, composers experimented more, the old tuning systems of the past, uh, we, we have, they have names like Pythagorean tuning and just tuning and mean tone temperament, kind of gave way to the modern tuning we use now uh, called equal temperament. Uh, an equal temperament, uh, all the half steps on a piano keyboard are the same, uh, have the same frequency ratio. In other words, the mathematical ratio from one note to the next is always the same. And it's based on that system that we have our modern keyboard instruments, but that also determines uh, the arrangements of the frets on a guitar. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a classical guitar or a jazz guitar, acoustic, doesn't matter. So those tuning systems that have been designed to accommodate more modern music uh, because of, of the needs of the classical composers, those, music, uh, those instruments and those tuning systems have made it possible for all the modern music styles that we have, the jazz, uh, rock and roll, uh, heavy metal, uh, and so on. All of them use uh, these instruments, guitar especially, but also keyboards, built on this uh, equal temperament system that evolved from the music of, of uh, what we call classical music, uh, J.S. Bach comes to mind, uh, where music needed to, to be able to modulate or change key from one key to another key without stopping to retune the instrument. Mm. And it's because of that, those uh, changes of key and uh, the need of a tuning system to accommodate different keys that we have the modern instruments that have made all these different modern styles of music possible. Second, I'm going to show you two people whose lives actually revolve around music. They studied music their entire life, uh, they played shows, um, they're always performing, they're pretty much full-time musicians. And I just wanted to see what kind of input I could get, and more or less see what they think about progressive metal. Uh, but yeah, have, I mean, you've heard progressive rock before from what you were telling me. Uh, there's a band named uh, Porcupine Tree, which I mentioned to you, and you seem to uh, know them. Um, uh, what, what do you think about that? I mean, it, you know, it is progressive rock. It, it includes, you know, a lot of jazz and, and classical influence. Do you, do you believe that? I mean, do you think it, it does include jazz and classical uh, in that style? Yes. Okay. Especially rock. I mean, you, you see it a lot in rock and in metal music because of all the arpeggios and technique that they use. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that is the same technique required in classical music and arpeggios that you see. Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is Steven Lopez. I've been playing guitar for about 10 years now. I'm a big fan of uh, classical rock and metal music. And uh, I have a uh, I uh, played several shows in El Paso, Texas, uh, doing several projects with a uh, couple bands, a uh, couple, couple of good musicians around here. And what what, uh, what bands uh, were you playing with? Um, I played with uh, Midnight Moon and uh, also uh, some side projects here and there. And those were, uh, were they progressive metal? What kind of music uh, was it? Se several styles, uh, but uh, probably the, the most dominant is uh, would be metal. And uh, yeah, progressive most definitely being my favorite. So, how has progressive metal influenced you um, at this time? You know, what, whether it's in your in your playing or, you know, just just period. Um. Um, I would probably have to say that uh, it's a it's influenced me as a musician. 
because it's allowed me to uh, develop uh, my technique and my playing a lot more because it is uh, really diverse and uh, uh, really uh, it's a really complex style. Uh, there's a lot of talented musicians out there uh, that uh, fall into that genre of music. So uh, uh, just uh, drawing from them uh, to, uh, to inspire me, uh, it's probably my biggest inspiration is hearing all my, uh, uh, all my uh, favorite music. You feel that classical um, and, and, and possibly jazz has uh, influenced? Oh, most definitely, oh, absolutely, okay. and, uh, and it's it's uh, I mean it's really evident, especially like you said on on uh, uh, artists and musicians that now like they really uh, that, that classical and jazz has a more dominant uh, I guess a role in their music mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. probably like in the earlier years uh, you you would hear but not as much. And it wasn't probably until like the 80s, 90s, and then uh, and now uh, the new millennium that you're starting to hear more and more uh, jazz and classical being more do a more dominant part of mm -hmm. rock and metal as a whole, especially progressive. A lot of these uh, these new guys, they uh, they're really incorporating a lot of that into it, and uh, and that's a, what progressive is. It's like uh, I guess like moving forward and being innovative, throwing new ideas out there. So. Uh, these guys are really drawing a lot from their, their classical and jazz roots to uh, create some, some of the most interesting music that we've probably heard. Awesome. So as you can see, Stephen Michelle and Dr. Leinberger all believe classical and jazz both have influence not only on modern styles of music, but heavy metal and progressive metal. Um, last, I would like to show you a video of a progressive metal band, Dream Theater, to show that all we talked about in jazz and classical is completely involved and progressive metal. There you have it. Many styles combined to create the ultimate piece. That's what progressive metal is all about. I'm hoping some of you are completely ecstatic, hopefully enough to help the industry grow. We need to stand up for this style of music and help it grow. We need to show others what music is all about. This documentation is used to help even the regular Joe understand how classical and jazz is used in progressive metal. It should open up your mind and help understand how truly talented progressive metal artists really are. So go buy some progressive metal CDs.